right, so now is when we are going to use the bolster or the stack of blankets for a way to come into half pigeon. So this is usually a kneeling posture. This is a way to come into it um, that can be a little bit easier on the body and it can feel like a really nice place to stay as well. I'm gonna move my bolster a little bit closer to me. I'm gonna come onto hands and knees, but I'll have my hands right on top of the bolster or your stack of blankets. We're gonna come into a lunge position with the lunging leg, I'm gonna take my right leg in front of the bolster. I'm just gonna come into a lunge. You can come into that however feels right to you. Hands on the bolster. So this might feel like a nice place to stay for a few minutes. Can be, again, another good stretch on the hip flexor. Like I said, we're often trying to stretch this area of the hip flexor. That's why we did that little bit of strengthening thing. You can have your bolster on your side to support your thigh like this. This is the magic of yoga props. There's so many wonderful things that you can do with them. So a lunge can feel like a nice stretch, a good place to start. Your chair is next to you. So if you feel wobbly, you have your chair at any time. You need to put a hand on your chair to help balance. My bolster is high enough that I can put my hands on my bolster to do that as well. And notice that my the front points of my hips, the ASIS, they are pointing relatively toward the front. And my back foot, hopefully, is straight out from, it's kind of a straight line from the middle of the side of my bottom all the way out to my heel. If you look back and you don't see that, you can adjust a little bit. So as we move into our pigeon pose, the two things that are going to be important are the position of the knee and the position of the front shin. So the knee has to externally rotate to get that wider angle. And you want it to be not straight out from the hip, but actually wider so that the knee comes more to the outside edge of your mat. In this position, my shin might be fair, fairly parallel to the front of the mat, but the heel can also come closer to the body. And you'll see as we move into that. I'm gonna scooch back just a little bit and you can slowly sort of walk your foot over to the side, but only enough so that the knee comes out to the side. So my knee isn't going straight forward. It's coming out to the side at an angle. If your shin doesn't feel comfortable going straight across, mine is fairly straight to parallel with my mat, you can move your foot closer. It might go under your prop a little bit. That's totally fine. And that might be easier with blankets. So now we're in half pigeon pose, a supported version. This version feels so good in my body. I feel like I can just hang here forever. You might not feel that way. If this is feeling horrible for you, go back to the chair version, the seated version, the floor version. Remember, my goal is to help you find a version that makes you feel comfortable, not like, oh, I could do that like Beth did. Totally unnecessary. For me though, this does feel really nice. It feels like something I can sustain. And I can also play with moving forward and taking this into a resting version on my hands. If I have my chair in front of me, I can rest my arms right on the chair that way. So that's another option. In fact, let me see if I can drag the chair over and show you it that way. Hmm, this feels really nice too. I could just hang here all day, but we probably should switch to the other side. So I'm gonna use my chair, use my bolster to help push myself up. I'm pushing into my bottom foot so I can get back into that lunge position. Then I'll take my hands back inside my leg, back to all fours. You might find that you wanna come back and rest in child's pose or another position. Sometimes just seated on the heels for a moment can feel good or standing, kneeling, stretching out this front area a little bit, whatever feels good for you. When you're ready, we'll take that to the other side. So this time it's my left foot in front. I'm gonna start with finding my lunge. In this upright version of lunge, I'm a little wobbly here. So remember if your chair is next to you or if it's in front of you, you can rest on the chair. I'll take my bolster and put it in this position 
so I can be a little bit more secure. So in this upright version of lunge, my torso is upright, my lower ribs are drawing in, my abdominals are drawing in, and I have a natural arch in my low back. I'm not trying to take that into a back bend, but simply my natural arch with my hip bones pointing to the front, the same direction they're gonna point in when I move this into pigeon pose. And I'll take a peek back at my back leg. Uh, it looks like it was a little bit out to the side, so I'll move it and just stabilize it a little bit more so it feels more even in my body. But remember, we, we really are going for how the pose feels, not how it looks. So if your foot is out to the side more and that feels perfectly fine and stable in your body, there's nothing wrong with that. I'll take my prop flat again. And remember, we're slowly going to start walking the foot in as the knee comes out, letting the knee stay wider than your hip joint. And then coming to rest on the outside of your bottom left foot. So this still feels pretty good on this side, not quite as easy as it did on the right side when I have my right foot forward. And that's because I know my, the shapes of my bones, my hips are a little different. I can tell when I practice that it feels different. And you'll see I just sort of self-adjusted by moving myself back a little bit further. Your foot might come forward more. All those things you can play around with to find the version that feels good. If you look at my back foot, I have the top of my foot to where my laces would be on the ground. If it feels better for you to tuck your toes, that's fine too. And then on the first side, we played around with leaning forward into the chair. I find that when I do that, it shifts the stretch a little higher up on my buttocks muscle rather than more on the outside of my thigh. So you might decide to stay more upright if you want that stretch more on the outside of your thigh, if you have the same kind of shift as I do, or you can come down here. And then we'll take a few more breaths here. start to come out. Remember, you might want to push down into your bolster or blankets with your hand enough so that you can lift that foot, place that foot back on the floor. I'm going to move my hands to the inside of my support and drag my foot back. And I'll rest again and seated for a few moments.